Jason Mundley with us from the Valley View Cougars baseball team. And uh, Jason, here we go, uh, 2017 season. What can we expect out of the Cougars? Well, we have high expectations. We fully expect to compete for a district title. And, um, you know, we have all the pieces in place and we have great pitching defense and hitting's coming along. So hopefully with a couple of breaks, we can make a little run. Talk about the, the pitching uh, right now with uh, the new rule, in fact, for everybody. How will that play a factor? You seem like you have a, a lot of arms this year. I do. We have about uh, nine solid pitchers, and uh, my uh, top three guys are back from last year, so we should be uh, very competitive um, with the pitching and the defense. Talk about the, the, the hitting this year. What the, what do you think that's going to be like? Because there's been a lot of gym time. Do you, have you had a, a decent gauge as to what you think you have there? Well, we're working some guys in and out. We haven't really decided on a couple of spots, but I think it'll all come together once we get out hit more on the field. And uh, we have a lot of guys that were on the junior varsity team last year that are hopefully making an impact this year. And a lot of them are doing well so far. But as far as uh, uh, leadership this year, talk about the guys trying to get some of those younger guys around what's that been like so far yeah the leaders have been doing great they have four captains on the team they're with us today and they've been taking charge on the field and uh, you know they're making sure practices go well keeping the guys positive so the environment is really really nice and it's uh, very comfortable to be around the, all the team and you know the whole environment at Valley View is just great Coaching in the league is pretty darn good. There's some good coaches out there. Talk about some of the guys you go up against. Well, we open up with uh, North Pocono, and Brian Jennings, one of my good friends. We actually play ball together, and he's a great coach. You know, his team will be ready. And, uh, you know, we kind of come from the same mold, so it's going to be a great game. We open up tomorrow at uh, Valley View against North Pocono. Should be a lot of fun. Oh, absolutely. And we uh, appreciate talking to you and bringing the guys down, and we look forward to seeing you during the season. Okay, thanks. Nathan Saprosky with us from the Valley View Cougars baseball team. And, uh, Nathan, let's talk about uh, your role on this year's team. Um, yeah, I'm just trying. This year, I was uh, Coach Mooney made me a captain to try to look at the younger guys, look over them, uh, try to teach them my ways about how to go about the right way, and uh, just try to lead the team. I like Max Pranick, of course, was a, a nice leader. Talk a little bit about things you guys learned from somebody like him. Um, Max, definitely, he, I learned a lot from him as uh, he was drafted by the Pirates. Um, he uh, taught me a lot as a pitcher, so I'm just trying to get those younger guys the same thing that he taught me. But the arms this year, do you have a lot of older arms? Mm -hmm. You got a nice mix of guys down through the greats? Yeah, this year we definitely feel like we have a strong pitching staff. Uh, we got me, Mason Black as number two, and Joey Castellani as number three. So we definitely feel like we have the pitching staff we, for to make it to the championship this year. How about the bats this year? Talk a little bit about some of those guys you think that will fill a nice role in there in the yeah. lineup. Yeah, this year we, we're hoping the bats come alive. We, we struggled past years with the bats, but we're hoping RJ Kilmer leads us with the bat. We're hoping Mason Black leads us with the team. So this year we definitely hope the bats come alive and sail to the district championship. Talk about a little bit about being a leader. What are, what are some things you try to do with some of those younger players? Um, just try to respect the game the right way. Try to go about things the right way. Uh, try to see if these guys are doing the right, er, right, like everything right. So I just try to take the guys under my wing and do everything right. How about your future? We're going to talk a little bit about what's next for you. Um, um, next year I will be attending Rhode Island University to continue my baseball career, and uh, hopefully that works out for me. Talk about the, the recruiting process and kind of looking at different schools, what you liked about this or that. Um, location was definitely a big thing for me. Uh, the coaches out there were great. They respected the way I played the game. I respected them. So it was just a, it was very uh, mutual agreement to, for me to go there, and they enjoyed the way I played, so I, I chose Rhode Island. One of those guys that puts a lot of time into baseball. Talk mm -hmm. about different coaches and people in your life that kind of made sure that you know, you're in a position now where you could go to that next yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, guys, uh, the coaches are big in getting recruited. Uh, they do everything for you, um, getting exposure out during the summer. And uh, even though high school you don't really get exposure, you still put in work during the high school season. And uh, hopefully it carries over the summer and just hopefully go through the recruiting process, hopefully get committed and go from there. Have a fantastic season. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. RJ Kilmer joining us from the Valley View baseball team. And uh, RJ, let's talk about uh, your outlook for your own team. Uh, how good are the Cougars going to be? Uh, we're going to be pretty good. Uh, we have a couple young guys coming up who really show promise in the future. And uh, a lot of players from last year who have some good experience are going to run the team this year.
Let's talk about those seniors first, some of the leadership with yourself and some other guys. Talk about the, each guy and what you think they have to offer for your team. Okay. Uh, Nathan, uh, he's a great leader. He runs our stretches and stuff, Nathan Soprowski. Uh, he's going to be our main pitcher, and uh, he should do really well at that. Uh, Joey Castellani, he's another pitcher, uh, also second baseman, another captain. Uh, he's a great leader, and he just helps out all the guys, the young guys and stuff, show them what you have to do at the next varsity level. As far as yourself, uh, what do you think you're going to do as a leadership role? Uh, basically the same thing, uh, just show the, the guys under us the right concept and uh, just be a solid defensive player, a uh, good leader, and uh, good offensively. What some of the younger players that you're trying to get along, get up to speed? You see a few that you think are going to make an impact on this team? Oh, maybe yeah. maybe they could get on base and, and run a little bit, or maybe they could break yeah. that lineup. Yeah, Dixon Black, uh, Mason Black's uh, younger brother. He's a freshman. He has a lot of talent. Uh, he will most likely be starting at shortstop uh, this year, and uh, he has a great bat. Overall, when you talk about the league that you play in, boy, there's a lot of good teams, a lot of good coaches. So I'm yeah. sure uh, you guys are going to be in some battles. Yeah, it's a great league. There's a lot of great players, great teams, but uh, we're going to be a tough team to beat, too. What do you like about the game of baseball? I just love how uh, at, there's there's no time. Like, if you're down 5 nothing in the ninth inning, you can still come back and win. It's not like football, basketball, where there's time. You, have, you run out of time. You, it's the game's in your hands. Well, we hope the game's in your hands pretty often, and uh, we wish you well this season. Yep, thank you. Joey Castellani joining us from Valley View Cougars. And Joey, let's talk about the position that uh, you'll play there for the Cougars this season. Yeah, um, I'm going to be starting at second for most games when I'm not pitching. We have a great infield, so we could expect a lot out of them. So when I do pitch, we have a lot of people backing up and filling in the position good. Talk about pitching seems to be, we think, a strong point for Valley View. Of yeah, course, we're expecting uh, a lot out of them. Guys have to be healthy, and there's going to be a lot of arms, 100 pitch count, that whole deal, which is new for everybody. We'll talk a little bit about your pitching staff, you know, if you have any southpaws in that. Yeah, we have two, Nate Soprowski and uh, Zach Blackberger. We're going to be big, thrown off the righty scheme. Um, but we do have a lot of older pitchers, experienced ones, like Mason Black coming back. We're going to be to mess with pitching wise. How about that infield? Uh, take us through some some guys that, that you see doing well. Who's behind the plate for you? Catching position behind the very plate. big. That's a role in the running right now. We have two kids battling out for it, so it's always good. Friendly competition. Um, third base, we have a lot of uh, good people. RJ can we probably take that home. We have a freshman starting that's short. Dixon Black, Mason's brother. Um, first base, it'll be a mixture of everyone because we have a lot of players playing different roles. So. Outfield, we haven't talked much about that. Uh, talk about some of the guys competing for the outfield position. Yeah, we have a lot of new people in the outfield. A lot of people graduated, but we have young kids coming up. Um, we have a lot of, we have a couple older kids too to fill in the void. Um, again, experienced. Two, uh, two freshmen should be battling out for spots. Um, we're expecting Dylan Hawaiians to be in there. He's really impressed me so far, so hopefully that plays out. Being uh, Castellani, big name with uh, athletics uh, yes. and, and Valley View. Talk a little bit about, uh, you know, you must have a nice family, I'm sure, rooting you on and, and trying to, yeah, to say, hey, man, we're, we're really supporting this guy. It's amazing. They're out there every game. You know, I can't thank them enough. Very supportive. How about the future for you? What's next? I'm attending Marywood University for the pre-physician's assistant program, so I'm excited. Oh, sounds like a huge major. Talk about yeah. the job that you do in the classroom. Yeah, I'm hit the bucks. I like, love to. You know, education is important in my family, so that's where I take pride. Well, uh, sounds like a great future. We wish you the best, not only uh, at Marywood University, but uh, this season, okay? Thank you. All right, we're talking with Mason Black here at our Carol and Janelle as we talk about the Valley View Cougars baseball team. And uh, Mason, let's talk a little bit about uh, your baseball attributes. What do you have there for the Cougars that should uh, show uh, for this season? Because you guys look like you're going to be pretty good. What does Mason have done? Yeah, well, um, I think the biggest thing is to just lead by example, be a great team player. You know, just help out in any way possible. Whatever coach asked me to do, just handle that. 
not only you got to be a great team player, you got to be a good brother. Yeah. Talk about uh, what it's like having your younger brother on the squad. You know, it's great. I haven't been able to play with my brother, Dixon Black, since uh, I think Little League. That was our last time together. So it's definitely an exciting time. You know, my parents will have to be running around to different games. Um, I think they're excited too, but it's honestly, it's one of the best feelings ever. Last year I had my cousin on the team, Mitch McHale. This year I have Dixon, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Not that, uh, you know, you ever kind of let your guard down and give your brother big kudos, but boy, <laughs> a freshman playing shortstop, that's pretty big. Yeah, honestly, I think he definitely works hard enough to be able to fill that role. Uh, he's a great player, always hitting, always working on his stuff, you know, fixing everything, practicing perfect, it's great. I'm sure he looks up to you in some ways, uh, but there's that competitive spirit. Oh, yeah. Talk about, do you think that relationship will probably get stronger as the year goes on? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, playing together would definitely help. You know, competition is what breeds success, so I think that's the biggest thing for our team as a whole. How about kind of that well-rounded unit? You guys seem like you got a lot of pieces of the puzzle in place at Valley View. Yeah. What's it going to take, though, to, to win a lot of games? Because the competition will be fierce. Yeah, definitely. There's, we have a tough schedule this year. Um, we have some great teams in our division. I think that everything's going to come together, you know, just let things fall. Uh, we have just leadership all over the place with our team. So that'll be a great experience. Other well, baseball, talk about some hobbies that you do that you like to have some fun with. Yeah, well, I'm a big hunter and fisher. Um, I actually hunt with the owner of this place, Arco and Janelle's. Angelo, he's a great dude. It's a lot of fun. You know, I get to go out there with my grandpa, my dad, three generations of the black family. It's truly, it's awesome. I hope he's packing some pizza when you go out there. Oh, I hope so, too. <laughs> well, uh, great to catch up with you. We wish you the very best for the Valley View Cougars. Thank you. I appreciate it.